So if you just want to make your way up front here, I know we don't give a lot of instruction here. We're kind of casual about this, but that's all right. People want to see the kids more than they want to see this face right here, so uh, come on up. And Richard, uh, we're going to grab you a stool here and um, Stan, if you want to come on up. I think it uh, looks like one couple that signed up. Oh, there they are. There they are. Let's see you guys here. Hi. Okay, and uh, if we can get uh, Richard Coy here, we're going to have him come on up. And <clears throat> Before we get started here, let me uh, give these to the elders real quick here. children here in just a moment. Richard, there's the two. And there you go. All right. Well, this is uh, always a fun thing to do. Um, as a Lifehouse Church, what we try to do, um, and I know that if you've been here a while, you, you've heard this little spiel before, but it's the truth that what we try to do around here is, is follow a biblical model, all right, of, of what it was like in the early church and how they did things and what we see is in the early model that there was uh, children that were dedicated but uh, we see in first Samuel uh, Hannah she presents her son Samuel to priest Eli and dedicates the rest of Samuel's life to serving God and dedicated to to God uh, probably the more popular one that we know of is uh, Mary and Joseph in Luke 22 oh, 22 brought their firstborn child that we know as our Savior Jesus um, to the temple, and they dedicated him uh, to God as well. And um, these families come today, and really what this is about, families, is, yeah, we're, we call this an infant dedication, but probably more importantly, it's, it's a dedication of you, all right? Th these little ones don't really know exactly uh, what commitment they would be making this early, but you do. Okay, so I'm looking at each one of you and saying, you guys are making a vow, a commitment today uh, to be number one in relationship with Jesus Christ. And through that relationship that these little ones will look upon you and their lives because of your example will follow you. So really you're dedicating yourself and, and yeah, secondarily you're, you're dedicating the lives of these children to their creator God but but really I'm looking at you saying you've got to you've got to have Jesus Christ number one in your life so fathers and mothers let me call attention to the commands of God Deuteronomy 6 4 says love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul with all your strength these commandments that I give to you today shall be upon your hearts and then it goes here parents and it says those commandments that that you're looking at he says then what you are to do is to impress them upon your children. Talk about them when you sit at home, okay? So when you're sitting down to eat a meal, all right, instead of um, having the TV on and, and the other things, uh, turn that thing off. And instead of talking about worldly stuff that's happening or whatever, open the Word of God up and sit down and talk to them about who God is. So when you're sitting at home and when you're walking along the road, when you're driving in your car, all right? Be talking about the things of God when you're in your car. Uh, it says when you lie down, when you're, when you're putting them to bed, pray with them. Talk about the things of God before you're laying them down to sleep. And then it says, even when you get up. So when you wake them up, let the first thing that takes place is, hey, let's sit down and have some devotions. This is what God is, is commanding disciples of Christ to do with their families. So parents, I just want to take just a moment to have a parent vow that you're making, a commitment that you're making in front of God today and in front of these witnesses. So by, by coming forward before God and his people, do you hereby declare your desire to first dedicate your lives to loving and serving God? And secondly, to dedicate your child's life to God? If so, answer, we do. Do you vow by God's help in partnership with godly people? to provide your child a home of biblical obedience to God, to train them in the truth found in the Bible, and to encourage them one day to submit their lives 
to Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior? If so, answer, we do. All right, as uh, a second part of this, I usually turn and, and look at you, uh, their, uh, their family and their friends. And I ask you to, to make a dedication as well today to the, these families right here, because we all know if anybody has kids that we all need help <laughs> raising our kids. And uh, there's nothing like having Christian brothers and sisters around to help us raise our kids and uh, to teach Sunday school and to do all the things that we need to do in order to train this young generation up that we have a generation one day that will serve God and lead the Christian church. So if you wanna stand with me and make this dedication, And here's the vow. It says, do you vow by God's help to be faithful in your calling as members of the body of Christ, to encourage these parents to be faithful to God and to help teach and train their children in God's word so that they may one day submit their life to Jesus Christ. If you accept that responsibility, would you just answer, we do. All right, we're going to take just a minute to anoint these children, and uh, then I'm going to pray over uh, the children and your families. And of course, what we do here, why we are anointing, if you're not accustomed to this, uh, the anointing is a representation of the presence of the Holy Spirit. And we want nothing more than the presence of the Holy Spirit being upon these children and upon these families. Just let the elders for a minute just bless them, and, and I'm going to pray. Well, Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for these children. We thank you, God, that they were knitted in the womb by you. In fact, God, we look at children as our own, but really, God, they're yours. And we are just but stewards of them, God, to raise them up in the fear and ammunition of God. And Father, I pray that these families would take that responsibility, God, not as just a religious thing we're doing here, but God, they would truly remember this day that they made a vow to you that they were going to do everything they can to raise these children up so that one day they will know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. I pray by the grace of God be upon these children, even at this young age, begin to open their spirits up, God, to understanding who you are, God, and how much you love them and the sacrifice that you gave for them. And I pray right now, God, that one day soon when they come to a place of accountability, that they will place their faith in Jesus Christ, that they would be saved from their sins, and that one day, God, that they will spend eternity with you in heaven. God, we thank you for that promise. We bless these families, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.